Hello there and welcome to my channel Quest for Truth. So if you clicked on this video you might be really curious about the title. The title of the video is Programmed with Ego but you have lost your soul. So in an attempt to um, explain what I am talking about I'm gonna need you guys to think for a few minutes. Um, so right now think about your life and think about your life here in 2023. The technology, your what you do in a run of a day, your life and how it's structured, your thoughts and beliefs, the technology you use. Then if you want to think back, think back to 200 years ago. If you put yourself back there 200 years ago, what would be different about it back then? Would your life be more simple? What would you have? What wouldn't you have? See, if I picture back 200 years ago, I picture a simple life. A simple life like, well, the only TV program <laughs> that I can think of that really makes me think of what life would be back, like back 150, 200 years ago would be Little House on the Prairie. Um, so what was life like there? It was pretty simple, wasn't it? It was living life on the farm. Um, you had your little community. You had your general store. You had no technology. And you had no TV, no computers, no cell phones, no, well, I guess they did have land la lines later on, but the technology, there was basically none, right? <clears throat> so what does that mean? What do you think, um, what does that mean for us? What, how different, think about this for a minute, how different and how different would your thoughts be if you were literally back living 200 years ago? The big question is, would your thoughts, would you be any different? I don't know. I think I would. So in order to, this, this video could be considered deep for some people that haven't really thought much about any of this, but we're all awakening here. A lot of us are awakening here and there are different stages to awakening. And my stage of the I am in right now, after learning that this whole world is a lie and that I've been deceived, we've all been deceived. My whole purpose and my whole um, focus right now is learning on not just the information that we've been lied to about, but what has actually happened to us as humanity? What has happened to us as a whole? So in order to dive a little bit deeper into this, we need to understand the definitions. Right? We need to understand, first of all, what does that even mean? What is a soul and what is your ego? <clears throat> so if you go, do a quick um, definition search um, on ego, and this looks like it's from the Oxford, Oxford Dictionary, um, it is the part of the mind that mediates between the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. So what stands out to me in that definition is unconscious, right? It mediates between the, the part of the mind that mediates between the unconscious and the conscious. And it gives us our personal identity. Whether you're a mom, you're a nurse, you're a teacher, you're a sister, all of those so-called roles that we live in. That is your ego. Now, the soul is defined as the spiritual or immortal part of a human being or animal regarded as immortal. 
plain and simple, ego is consciousness, awareness, and that is it. That is what it is. You are living and you are aware. So what, <laughs> so then what does that mean? Okay. What has this world given to you? What have, what has been run on you since birth? You're born and your parents, you live under them and what their norms are. They live in a system that they're under, includes the government system, the hospitals, the schools, all of that, right? They have a job, they get up and go to work every day and come back, watch a little, have supper, watch a little bit of TV and go back to bed and do it all over the next day. That sounds like a program. Sounds like an invisible program. And the reason it sounds like an invisible program is because that baby, if once a child is born, they're born into, right now, in 2023, they are being born into a system that they cannot see, that their parents cannot see, don't know it exists, but completely live in it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I'll tell you. Lately, I've been taking to being really curious about the older shows. And I think I've mentioned on a previous video, or maybe I haven't, that for a while there I was watching Soap. And that was a kind of like a... It was kind of like a sitcom, I guess, back in the late 70s. I've also taken to watching a lot of old reruns of All in the Family. And um, the other one, which was a spinoff from that, was the Jeffersons, George Jefferson, right? All those three characters in those shows, Chester was in Soap. He was the main character. Archie in All in the Family and George Jefferson in the Jeffersons. What were their characters, if you can think back? It is so plain to me now when I sit there and I watch these shows play out. They were narcissists. They were misogynist. Well, especially George, or sorry, especially Archie. He was a narcissistic, misogynistic person that had a dingbat wife that was so kind and so giving no matter what he said or what he did, she had the patience of Job with this man, right? Do you think that that molded you in any way? Do you think that molded us in any way watching those? I know when I was little when these programs were on, when they first, like, when they first come out, like early 70s or whatever. Like, I was quite young, but they were always on in the background and they seeped into my head, I can tell you that. And then as I grow up, grew older. Of course, the reruns were on TV and I watched all of them. Continued to watch as it wasn't only the male narcissists that had these roles. We started to have the female narcissists rise. We have an entire world full of narcissistic, egotistical people that think there is nothing else to life than a new truck, going to work every day, going to bed, getting up in the morning, rinse and repeat, just continuous, continuous. I'll store up wealth here, I'll get this, I'll get that, and guess what? Then I'll die. Is that true? Is that even true? Well, if you look at the definition of ego, it is not true. We are pure consciousness and consciousness does not die. So to me, that just brings a bigger picture or a bigger question into the picture. What is this all about? If we're not supposed to just get up every morning and go to work and come back home, like, where is the substance in living there? Where is it? Where is the spiritual living there? Where is, what does life, 
What is the meaning of life then? So we can have a job. Yeah, we raise families and all that. Absolutely. And we love our children. I absolutely. And that is a that is a very good point to this life. Absolutely. But if you believe that we're only passing through this life, that we will be consciousness forever, and this is just a little part of 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 what we will experience. The, eternity goes on forever. And this is just a little blip what we're here right now. Right? What is the purpose of all this. So if you've been programmed with ego, and that's what's run on you, that's what's been run on you your whole life, and you do not notice. Picture this, picture this. You're born into a system, you're given a birth certificate, right? You've been born in a hospital, part of a system. You go to school, part of that same system, right? You get up, you get your job, you go to work, you pay taxes, you pay a lot of taxes. In this, within this system, you pay a lot of taxes. Pay a lot of taxes to people that, you know, a lot of, <laughs> I'm not even going to get into a lot of it. But the problem is, what I'm trying to say is, you can't see the system. When you're born in it, you don't see it. And you sit there and you, instead of just being pure consciousness and, and noticing your surroundings and being happy with who you are, you have all these programs run on you. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be, you got to be a cookie cutter person. You know, there's cookie cutter homes. You can go into certain subdivisions and every place on the same block will look exactly the same. They might have a little different this or that color, whatever, but they're cookie cutter homes. We are being designed to be cookie cutter people. We're all the same. We all identify the same way pretty much. No, I shouldn't say that. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. But as far as what our purpose in life is, a lot of people just, well, there really isn't one. They think their purpose is storing up that next camper, storing up their house, storing this up. Okay, so if that's, what is the harm in that? Well, look around you. What is the harm in that? You know, you can't go in public now without some kind of ruckus. We pulled into the dollar store the other night and we just shut off the car and heard the scraping fight and come to find out someone in the dollar store had just simply run out of the dollar store with a cart full of stuff. Just went right by the cashier and of course the cashier went after it and that was what the ruckus was about. I've seen it so many times just down here on our main street here where I live. It's like there's outbursts of people everywhere. There's nastiness everywhere. There is ego everywhere. And if you deal in ego continuously and you lost your soul, how did you lose your soul? If, if, if you're full of ego, how are you losing your soul? Okay. If soul is consciousness and ego flips between consciousness and unconsciousness, how are you losing your soul? Well, it's been buried in programs. How can you simply be aware and have all these other things going on all the time, right? It's very hard to explain the ego and is even more hard, to, more harder to explain consciousness. But there is a reason why those TV Things you watch are called programs. They are programming you. Who is programming you? Who? God gave you a soul. God gave you a soul for consciousness, for understanding, for just being and being happy and being content. If your ego is always chasing after the brand new car, always chasing after sex, always chasing after um, someone, or always chasing after the next thing, what is that doing to your consciousness, to your soul? 
You're burying it. You're literally burying it in programs. And that is how you have lost it. It is buried in programs that we have learned to run on ourselves. This is an ancient spiritual battle. And this is Satan that is programming you. Do not, do not lose that. You come in this world. God was supposed to give you all these free resources. And what do we do? We have to pay for all of them. They're contaminating our air with chemtrails. We have to breathe that. They're taking water and they're, buy, they're making us buy it. Buy it. You know, they're, they're putting it in bottles and we're buying the water. They're taking a car, apartment complexes and, and people that were able to afford these units in these places. No longer, they, no longer can they. If you were more conscious and you had more um, soul and less ego, you'd care. You'd understand. You'd be aware of it. You'd be aware of it. You'd be conscious of it. And that is your soul. Consciousness is your soul. And all of you that are asleep and can't see the chemtrails above, that cannot understand you're being programmed, that can't understand why you can never get ahead when you get your paycheck and half of it is gone to the government before you even get it, those of you that cannot understand that have already lost your soul. You are operating for Satan. You're paying him his taxes. You're giving him his work, his, his whatever you wanted to do, right? You work, you have to work, you have to struggle. That is what he wants. He wants you to struggle. He wants you to be in ego. And he does not want you to be aware of what is going on here. Because there's a big picture that's going on here. And as far as he can keep you distracted into those programs he's running on you, <laughs> he's got it made. You had, a, you had consciousness, you had a soul when you were born here, ego covered it up, it's gone. Until you become aware of what's going on here, you have lost your soul. So that's all I wanted to say here, folks, for today. There's not much I can say else on the matter. Um, if you got any enjoyment out of watching this video, please like, share, subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this channel and you cannot comment. You cannot grow a channel without having some kind of feedback or having people share your videos. So if you guys could do that for me, that would be super awesome. And I hope you have a blessed day and you stay conscious. Bye-bye.